Hello, welcome back. This is a part 5 of the series BAP on BTP. In this part, we are going to talk about SAP API Hub. We are going to read one of the API. Also, we are going to create a custom class and integrate with SAP API Hub and call up into the HTTP service that we have. Without further ado, let's start. Visit api.sap.com. Log in to the page with your registered email ID that you have used it in the previous sessions. In this, we are going to have 485 APIs. As you see, SAP S4 HANA Cloud has 485. Let's use one of it. Let's trim down the list to something for Odita and save the filter as read. There you go, we have 186. Out of these many read APIs, we are going to select one of Let's say we use the country and region API. This is basically an API which reads the country and region. As you see, there are the whole set of parameters enabled for this API. Let's jump to Eclipse and create a new class to integrate with SAP API Hub. Give it some name. And click next. Select the local transport. There you go. Under the public section, we are going to define few methods. First one is the constructor and the other say get country details and set with a returning value of type string. Let's use Eclipse to implement these for us. There you go. So we have two methods. Let's start with it. Let's define the data attribute here. Say gbweb type string value, which would be coming up from our API business hub. Click on the details of the country region service and copy partial URL as shown and paste it in gvweb attribute. Let's declare another object referencing to if web HTTP client. Let's format it and let's start with the coding. We are going to use the standard class CL Web HTTP Client Manager and a method create by HTTP destination. It has one input parameter which is I destination. We'll set the value of I destination by a class which is CL HTTP destination provider by method created by URL and into this method we are going to pass an attribute gvweb. Let's format it and make it a little readable. There you go. So we have called up a standard class to set the destination of our HTTP object. Let's just put few comments in here. So let's call the method of this object get HTTP request. Using hello request, we are going to set the header fields. Set the name as content type. Value as application JSON. Let's copy this and update it. Again, the name as accept 
and the value would be the same. Third, lastly, it would be API key. Remember, API key, you have to get it from API Business Hub. Under this, you're going to click Show API Key and Copy. Come back to Eclipse and click Control V. That's it. So your content type is set, accept is set, and API key is as well set. Now let's set the URI path for it. We'll need to pass in the value to this parameter I URI path, which we already have under the GV web. Now remember, GV web is having just a partial URL, right? So we need to append the actual entity name to it. Let's go to API Hub. If you have already added that into API Explorer, you will see this and select API Explorer. Here you will have a API with entity A underscore country. Let's put a top query to this. It would return a response of the countries, the country currencies, hard currencies, etc. Let's copy this into a notepad. And append it with ampersand dollar format equals to JSON. This would tell basically the system that I would expect response in JSON. Copy the selected part and control V in the Eclipse. Quickly update the comments. Now let's write the execution logic. From the geo HTTP object, we are going to call the method execute. We'll need to pass in the parameter I method and the value would be determined from this interface and calling method get text and set the return variable rjson to elevate response. We'll add two exceptions with the help of Eclipse. Let's use this. There you go. Now we have successfully added the try catch block. Let's look into the code if all good. As you know, we have just created a class. We'll need to call it somewhere. For that, we are going to use our second program that we created in the previous session. Go to the handler class of the second HTTP service that we created in previous session. And we have created input as a parameter. Let's add one more, say consume. If the parameter input is having value as consume, then we would be setting the response text by calling up the class that we just created, which is basically our API hub class and calling the method get country details. Let's save and activate all. Don't forget to do this step. If any of the code is not activated, it would not work. Let's copy the URL and go to the browser and paste. We'll pass the input parameter value as consume. There seems to be some issue. No worries, we'll just need to check into the code. A quick glimpse shows that I have made a typo. Let's fix that and activate. Just click refresh. There you go. Finally, we have used SAP API Hub in integration with HTTP service. Thank you guys. Do let us know how you feel about this. What do you think that we should do next? And also to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.